We're going to examine what the difference is between pressure zones and flight zones with animals. What we want to do with animals is move them around using the pressure zones and not hitting flight zones. So let's have a look at how this looks like with individual animals. Now if I'm hitting a pressure zone they're getting up and moving away calmly. If I hit a flight zone then you'll see them move away at some speed and that might not necessarily actually be running but now here is an example with the the animals now starting to move away I've, I've hit some pressure zones and that's got them move, moving away and I stopped them by taking a step now I'm going to go pressure zones again and that's just enough movement to get them moving off calmly if however I overdo it we'll get running and there is a great example of I hit some flight zones and they've moved off before retreating. We're hitting some animals here now with their pressure zones and watch as they move off and they're moving off calmly. What I'm doing is, is actually just going onto their pressure zones. This is different than flight zone. A flight zone would cause them to take flight and move away from me and then turn and look at me. Pressure zone is, is different. Their movement is calm and collected. As you can see, they straighten their heads and move off. We're going to illustrate flight zones now. I'm going to come in on these animals and see if I can hit some flight zones. And you could see that ripple right through and that has induced movement over the whole mob because I've hit a flight zone. And that flight response has started all of the animals going. We're illustrating flight zones now on individual animals and you can see their reaction if you go and hit a flight zone. 